Hi there, this is uh, Dr. Mohin Hasib, the accreditation uh, consultant and quality and safety trainer with uh, lesson three and the final lesson on the subject of IQCP made uh, simple. If you recall in lesson one, I gave you a brief history about uh, QC, then we defined IQCP and then we talked about what are the rationale for moving to IQCP, why do you need IQCP in your laboratory, what are the CAP requirements for IQCP? In uh, lesson two, we, uh, st we talked about what are the elements of IQCP, how do you implement or develop these elements. In lesson number three, in today's lesson and the final lesson on this subject, we'll continue how do you implement or develop the element of IQCP, where to begin and I will give you a subject uh, summary. We said that um, IQCP consists of three key elements or parts, the risk assessment, quality control plan, and quality assessment. In the previous lesson, I talked about a risk assessment. In this lesson, I'm gonna talk about the quality control plan element and the quality assessment element. So quality control plan. Uh, it is an SOB that describes the practice, resources, and procedures to control the quality of a particular test. Or QC frequency, uh, QC free frequency cannot be less than, than the manufacturer instructions. Controls uh, all uh, control all phases of testing, like the specimen collection, performance, result reporting. Must monitor the accuracy and precision of the test performance. Include the number, type, and frequency of QC. Uh, define a criteria for acceptability of QC, must have lab director's reviewal, approval, and signature. Must also include CAB requirement, like monitoring of testing environment and reagent, uh, spec uh, specimen quality, instrument calibration, maintenance and function uh, checks for the test system, training and competency of testing personnel, the provisions for multiple identical devices and variation for uses covered under one IQCP and other requirements as indicated and applicable. The uh, resources for the quality uh, control uh, uh, plan, you need to consider uh, for monitoring the effectiveness of it may include but not limited to the following. QC records, maintenance log, calibration, PT, temperature chart, specimen rejection chart, turnaround time report, uh, complaint report, communication log, patient result review, training and competency documentation, delta check log, panic result uh, log, corrective action taking. And this is a form from CAB that you could uh, use if you, uh, if you like for that purpose. Next, I'm gonna go talk about the uh, quality uh, assessment element. Quality assessment is the uh, continuous uh, process of monitoring the effectiveness of the QCB. Quality assessment can be described as multi-part activity. Quality assessment monitors and assess the, labor uh, the laboratory must establish and follow uh, written policies and procedures to monitor and assess and when indicated correct problems identified. The laboratory must establish a review system for the ongoing monitoring of the effectiveness of their QCP. Quality assessment will help you or your laboratory make sure that your QCP is working as expected. Monitor, identify errors and QC failures so you can take the appropriate corrective action, investigate the cause of the error and reassess your risk assessment if needed.
<clears throat> also evaluate whether any changes need to be made in the QCP process. The monitoring should include all five risk assessment component, which is part of your uh, risk assessment, the specimen, the test system, reagent, environment, and testing personnel. When the laboratory discover a testing process failure or error, it must conduct and document an investigation to identify the cause of the failure, determine its impact on the harm, and make appropriate modification to their QCP to control this failure. At the end, you need to ask yourself, uh, does your quality uh, assessment do the following? Outline the quality assessment practices for your laboratory, monitor continuously for effectiveness, revise policy procedure necessary to prevent recurrence of the problem, discuss quality assessment reviews with appropriate staff, document all the quality uh, assessment activities. So these are the um, three elements of an IQCP risk assessment, quality control plan, quality assessment. Risk assessment uh, addresses what can go wrong. Quality control plan addresses how do we prevent or detect these, these things that could go wrong. And the quality assessment uh, uh, tell us if the actions are uh, correct or is the plan is working or, uh, or not. This is a quality assessment checklist template if you would like to, uh, to use, you can implement in your laboratory. Now we're gonna move on to the next item on the agenda is where to begin. Where to begin with you to determine if IQCB is uh, applicable to you and what to do uh, next, okay? You need to start with the eligibility determination for IQCB uh, form or uh, diagram, okay? For if you are in the, in the US, you need to ask yourself the following question. Does your state, okay, allow for use of IQCP, of IQCP? If no, then you are ineligible for IQCP and you need to do the default CAB QC requirement. If yes, uh, what is the complexity of the test? And here, if you are a US lab or non-US lab, that's where you start. Is, is the test waived or non-waived? If the test is non-waived, you are ineligible for IQCP and you need to follow the manufacturer instructions. Now, if it is non-waived, okay, if it is non-waived, is the test, um, uh, is the test use, is the test is uh, used for uh, cytology or in cytology or uh, uh, or uh, histopathology okay if yes then you are ineligible for iqc plan if no then you need to check does the test or instrument or device has a built in control an internal uh, control electronic or bu build in control. If no, then you are ineligible uh, for, uh, uh, for the test, unless you are in uh, microbiology. If you are in microbiology for your uh, identification system and uh, susceptibility system, even if you don't have uh, build in a uh, control or electronic uh, control in your uh, instrument or uh, device, uh, then you are, um, you are eligible uh, for, uh, uh, for the IQCP plan, okay? So uh, <clears throat> for micro, 
does the test involve the use of microbiology media or or with two or more uh, uh, with two more uh, susceptibility uh, testing if no then you are ineligible for the IQC plan if not if yes then you need to um, um, do the manufacturer uh, ask yourself the question does the manufacturer instruction allow for external equality uh, control if they are allowed to do um, external equality control on that instrument if no then you are ineligible for the IQCP if yes you are eligible for the IQCP that's how you start to determine your eligibility for IQCP then you need if you are eligible for the IQCP then you need to list uh, eligible test for the IQC uh, and this is like an example uh, of it and this is another example for in microbiology for it this is how you fill the the uh, form then you need to list your IQCP uh, control plan for each section and this is the mandatory form that is required by CAB you need to fill this form as applicable and sent to uh, CAP. Then uh, you need to develop uh, SOPs for the IQCP and the medical director need to approve the IQCP uh, policies and uh, procedures. And you should have something like this statement based on the information provided uh, documentation for the risk assessment quality control plan the quality assessment i approve put the test name by manufacturer and sign and uh, date subject summary uh, iqcp is a frame for customizing quality control program for your test system and your laboratory's unique environment IQCP is not a must, it is voluntarily or option, uh, optional for laboratories. However, if you don't participate in IQCP, IQCP if, if eligible, your laboratory must perform traditional or default QC for non-wave test that has a built-in control or built-in electronic uh, control. And uh, uh, you, if you uh, don't do uh, implement IQCP and you need to do uh, default uh, QC, which is for a qualitative testing, a positive and a negative QC each day of testing. And for a quantitative test, you need two level of QC each day of testing. Exception to, to that, microbiology, uh, they are, uh, uh, even if they don't, uh, their device, they don't, or instrument, do not have a built-in control, they have to do it for their identification system and uh, susceptibility system. Also, uh, BNP, ISTAT for non-wave cartridges only, ACT, PT, and Gen Expert all eligible for that. Pathology testing are exempt from the IQCP requirement, even if they have a device or an instrument or a machine that has a built-in or electronic uh, QC. Also, uh, uh, EQC was discontinued and no longer uh, acceptable by CAB as of January 1, 2016. There are mandatory components of the IQCB need to include 353, the three mandatory elements risk assessment, QC plan, quality assessment, with the five mandatory areas to be evaluated, specimen, test system, reagent, environment, and test personnel, and must address the three mandatory phases of testing, pre-analytical, analytical, and post-analytical phase. Where to begin? You need to um, see if you are eligible by using the IQCB eligibility determination form list all the eligible tests for IQCP in your section, a list of IQCP plan to send to, uh, to, to CAB, write and approve the IQCP SOBs 
for uh, by the medical laboratory medical director. You are going to need monthly QC and maintenance review as part of your ongoing quality assessment, and you need an annual assessment of your risk uh, assessment. And also, uh, finally, your adoption of an IQC plan will not necessarily reduce your QC testing. It will allow you to develop customized QC for your laboratory, for the specimens, you, uh, for the specimens, your test, your reagent, uh, your um, test system, the environment, and the testing personnel. I am done with the topic individual eye quality control plan made easy. For the next subject, please go to effective leadership skill, a leader that people can follow. Thank you very much for watching.